It's obviously having as many touch points with our players as possible. Um, so across the week, it's, it's coming in when they're, when they're in the building and also being available sort of outside those times. Um, so obviously main training days, but also um, in the offices um, when the boys are in gym or treatment, um, just checking in. And then obviously that, that turns into a game days with the running as well. We're looking after the players, um, their journey. Um, whilst at the football club and, and a concentration on um, both their transition in when they're young and then, and then their post-career um, transition and providing the balance to enable them to be the best performer um, whilst they're here and, and also trying to um, build them and grow them as people. Well, we do sit down with all the players at the start, start of the year um, and we sort of break that down into four components and sort of financial well-being, um, career, career transition, um, balance and hobbies, and connection. Um, and I guess this, this provides us a base to work with the players throughout the year. It's a, it's a document that's ever changing depending on, depending on the player, but it provides us a resource to work from. Um, it, it comes with actions for the players and we, we kind of sit down and review this. Um, like everything, it's fluid, um, but it just gives us something to work from with our, with our conversations with the players. I think it provides um, them some structure to outside of um, this, this ecosystem, I guess. Um, and at the end of the day, a, a football career isn't really a career, it's an experience. It's only for a, a, sh a short period of time at times. Um, so this, this enables the player to be the best person they are whilst they're here, continuing to grow, um, but also planning for the future um, and starting to look at work experience, look at study options that they can then, once football is, professional football is done for them, that they can go into and have confidence in their ability to transition from being an elite athlete. As part of the Indigenous play development um, manager role, um, being Indigenous myself, it's, it's great to provide a cultural lens, um, support the players and their families, as well as support the broader football football department in their knowledge and understanding of the Indigenous culture, um, upskilling them, and um, providing the, the support that is needed. Football and professional sport is often an experience and, and it's not, a, not often a, a really, really super long career that they can do forever. So it is about building up that non-athletic identity so that when the player leaves, they're not leaving as a player, they're leaving as a person. Once they leave, they, we need to upskill them, provide them opportunities so that when they transition out, they're feeling comfortable and, and happy as the person they are and also have great career prospects. I think it's about A, planning the opportunities to give yourself the balance and B, looking at the things you enjoy and, and making them a priority in your life. Um, I think we only get one opportunity at this and, and work's very important, but having a balance and, and doing the things you enjoy, plan them and make them a priority. Uh, I guess my tip for a healthier and longer life would be planning exercise, it's planning diet, um, and it's planning your social life and hobbies and, and tying all, all those things together is, is hopefully gonna make you a happier and healthier person.